cinnamon, flex them. <laughs> oh yeah, punch, 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 punch. I'm good, how are you? Good, good to see you. you. Yeah, you too. Lovely to have you on the show. You know, it, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe, so I couldn't walk. So there was all these, it was like a, uh, a an avalanche of things that sure. just kept coming down on top of me. I was getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. I really, really wanted to move. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, just walking from my front door mm -hmm. to the post box mm -hmm. was just hard. out of, no, I couldn't do it without losing my breath. And it was scary. It was scary. Because I was told that I had a bicuspid heart murmur. In fact, back when I was 19, and in fact, I don't. I have a completely different condition altogether. And what condition is that? It that you is have? called. <laughs> it is called diastolic dysfunction. So it is Beautiful. the left ventricle, uh -huh. from what I or left chamber, yes. is in like a stenosis. Like it's it's hardened and it doesn't pump. From what I understand, but That's you're it. the expert. <laughs> do you know what? I have to say, a lot of patients actually have their own medical knowledge, and a lot of it is absolutely right. And very often I say to my patients, you know, you know your body best, and you know what you've been through. And, you know, Simon, you're absolutely right. And I've just showed, just for the viewers, before we have a listen to your heart sound, mm -hmm. um, what we mean by left ventricular or diastolic dysfunction. So this is our beautiful organ, as you can see here. It's the lovely heart that you guys all know about. If we open it up, we can see that we've got those four chambers, so the atria and the ventricles. And this is the left side, so the left ventricle here. So particularly for Cinnamon, she her left ventricle is, uh, she's got diastolic dysfunction, which means that the left ventricle wall itself is stiff and it's hard, and it doesn't relax as well as it should between beats. So what that means is when the blood is flowing from the atria, coming down into the ventricle, because this is like a stiff, almost a stiff balloon, if you like, it just won't relax and it doesn't let the blood in as, as it should. So the heart has to contract even harder to help that shortfall. So in effect, what happens after a little bit of time or after several years perhaps, is that this has to overwork. And sometimes what that can lead on to is things like high blood pressure or even heart failure as well in the future. So it is imperative for you know a good diagnosis, the correct diagnosis and the correct Absolutely. treatment as well. And we'll have a listen to Cinnamon's Heart because actually I think you guys will really like this. <laughs> it, it makes some really cool noises. It's pretty there's, cool. There's some real good um, obvious regurgitation there and it has been for years. I used to love being hooked up to all the machines and hearing all the sloshing around. It never frightened me because I knew that I was still up and mobile. Yeah, you're so working, I, you're I, I felt fine, okay, yeah. but obviously <laughs> this little ticker of mine's had to do some work. That's I awesome. think I think we need to listen to her heart, would you guys reckon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's do yeah, it. let's take a listen. So for this, I'm using my trusty Litman stethoscope. And I have to say one thing. Cinnamon saw my video and she was like, you need to listen to my heart. I saw that you got this cool little gadget. You need to listen to my heart. So guys, this is your treat. So I'm going to pop it on. So this time I'm now using the bell and the diaphragm, which will hopefully give me the high and the low frequency sounds together. So we'll take another listen now. <laughs> so there you've heard both the aortic and the pulmonary valves. Let me know what you think. Um, I think it sounds really fascinating actually. I can't wait to share with you. It's actually really therapeutic. It is. <laughs> Listening to your heart is really relaxing. I have to second fall asleep just standing there. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, we have got such a treat for you now. We're going to see what Cinnamon's Heart sounds like after a little bit of gentle walking on the spot. And we're going to see how it listens when it's a little bit excited and then when it calms Ooh. down as well. Guys, this is this is the channel. This is the channel. If you're not yeah. subbed up, sub on. Let's go. Let's do a bit of working out. Flex those guns, Cinnamon. Flex them. Oh, yeah. Punch, 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 punch. All right, now you're all rested up. I've got to say, that was pretty cool, listening to your heart. I said I could just listen to your heart all day long. <laughs> so it sounded, it actually sounded quite different because you actually notice the murmur a lot more. So rather than listening to the, the actual definite bum, 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 you hear a lot more of the murmur, regurgitation. So it's harder to differentiate the heart sounds, which is really interesting because as we know, the heart is contracting. It's really working hard. So every time it contracts, it's harder and harder. You're going to hear more of that turbulent blood flow. So as you could hear, it was a lot more turbulent. And you can hear that murmur more so than your heart sound, which is very interesting. So listening to Cinnamon's heart, so you can actually hear there is an audible murmur. So compared to, say, for example, um, a regular heartbeat where it goes boom, 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 there is a fourth heart sound, which means it goes boom, boom, shh, boom, boom, shh, boom, boom, shh, boom, boom, shh. So you can actually hear it, and it's really clear. And we listened over the aortic and the pulmonary valve. So as the heart is relaxing, because we've got that stiffness in the left ventricle, it's having to work that extra hard. And so you hear that whooshing noise, and there may also be a bit of regurgitation as well. Absolutely. Said, yeah. yeah. So the regurgitation is what causes that kind of turbulent flow of the blood through the valve itself. So that is just fascinating. It's it is. so, so fascinating. Thank you so much for having letting us listen that's, to your heart. My, it's totally fine. Thank it's, you. It's, it's always fun to, to share my little rave party it that's is. going on inside yeah. my head. <laughs> your rave party, I love it. <laughs> so, Cindy, now we know we've listened to your heart and we've had a nice listen to that, but what kind of things have you been told to sort of be aware of with, with this condition? Mm -hmm. 